Good morning, Modern Stutters. It's a heat wave this morning. We're at 12 degrees above zero. That's a lot warmer than it has been, but still too cold. We're supposed to be warming up a little bit throughout the week. We should get above freezing, I believe, in the 40 degree temp marks in a couple of days. But we're going to have rain. That's not going to be fun. But let's go in the cave, and I got a few things I want to get done today. So I was thinking that this corner right here would be a good place to hang the meats for curing, but the ceiling here isn't great. We have floor joists to screw into, but that's it. So I want to put some three quarter inch boards up there so we can screw some hooks in wherever we want to hang the meat. So we got to get some boards cut and get that installed before we can hang the prosciutto and the copa. Morning temperature with the door open a little bit last night is 40 degrees in here. Now today I can keep the door completely shut. One of the hard parts is, is all of our rough sawn lumber is buried out in the snow and the ice. But I remember seeing some leftover siding we stuck in the corner the other day. I think we can use this. This is the outside siding of the house with the reverse board and bat and look. But if you flip it over like this, it will be shiplap and that'll work perfectly. Let's see how many we have. I don't know why I have this in the house, but I do. Gonna have just enough. <laughs> one more piece. Let's see if this one's long enough. We need 27 for a line. Perfect. Figaro, don't go in the chicken plucker. No, that wouldn't be good. You're a crazy cat. Come on. All of our boards need to be cut to 27 inches long. Let's set up our jig or our stop. Slide this over. Perfect. There, now the part that'll take us the longest was setting up the saw.
I have to lock Figaro upstairs while I leave the basement door open. Otherwise, I'll probably sneak off and probably never come back. But he's been mad. He's been locked up here. Whoa. Watch out. Alright, for screws, we're probably going to be a little bit of an overkill, but inch and a half or two inch long screw would be nice, but I have two and a half inch long screws. This is what we'll be using. I can't wait to start working on our large soil block maker. That project will resume shortly. Seeds are on order. We should have had them in the mail today, but the shipping got all messed up. I see it. They're back in route. So hopefully sometime this week we'll have our seeds. We can do a video on that. I'm going to find my studs and I want to mark them. That way I'm not guessing. One thing I wanted to share with you is, is I just got all the information back and finalized the April pasture to plate whole hog culinary class here at Lumna Acres with Hand Hewn Farm. I am looking forward to that class. We're going to learn so much more. We're going to up our game with all the beautiful food we can make from our hogs. Think of it as your homestead five-star culinary class. I was like, what's going on? Right here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm not flush on the edge. But what it is is, I got a nail head sticking out right there. I need to go get a hammer and nail that in. I've been working on budgeting to add another camera to our arsenal. I don't know what I should do. This camera needs to get fixed. The audio jack is a little yank janky. So the audio every once in a while gets messed up. And that's because the audio jack needs to get fixed. But I can't send this camera in to get fixed until I have another identical camera and they're kind of expensive so I don't know if I should hold out till I can get another 70D or if I should add a Sony action camera into the arsenal first and then replace the Canon and to send this one out to get fixed and then I'll have two if one breaks you can just keep sending them out to get fixed but for now if it breaks we're in trouble so I'm thinking about what to do there I think an action camera would be great for working in tight spots like this and for getting more action footage with the animals. So I've been trying to figure that one out. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear your feedback. Leave it in the comments down below. I think this is gonna work out pretty slick for hanging our meats. If it doesn't, well, we'll figure something else out. So what I was thinking for setup in here is to have the meats hang in here, have another half wire rack, the three quarters of a wire rack under it so the meats can hang and we can store stuff down here and get one more wire rack full height to go here and I'm not sure in this wall if I'll put a wire rack there or not. We're still figuring it out but I think with 
the way I was just talking about, we'll have quite a bit of storage. So we'll just see how it all works for us. Now that we've got all of our boards in place, let's go get a drill bit, some hooks. We'll get the hooks installed and ready for the prosciutto and the copa, and then we can get them hanging in the root cellar. This is gonna look nice. What do you want, Mr. For now, we have the two pieces of meat to hang, so I'm not gonna stick them in the corner. Let's start out more here, so that we know they're getting good airflow. We'll put one of the hooks here, and then the other one we can hang here, or for the heck of it, let's go. We'll have the prosciutto here. I don't know. Let's try the copa here. That works. This is fun. This is experimenting. Sometimes it's hard. We want everything to go perfect the right time, but there's a lot of skills that have been lost that we don't all have. And we've got to be thinking as experimenting wise so we don't have a failure and give up. Okay, let's grab the copa first and get this hanging in the cave. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> we got a copa hanging in our cave in our basement. And the copa is from pasture raised pigs. We harvested here at Lumna Acres during our class and cured it. Oh man, that's just a thing of beauty. All right, my twining job might not be perfect, but for my first time, I'm excited. We're gonna be learning a lot more about this come April in the three-day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class. All right, let's spin this around. Grab our twine. This is going to be fun. All right, here goes nothing. Look at that beautiful thing. Awesome! Now we got our copa and prosciutto hanging in our cave. Look at that. Is that not just amazing? That's beautiful. We have a cave in our basement with our own pasture raised meats curing in them that we cured ourselves and harvested ourselves right here on our own homestead. That is exciting. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.